Welcome to the Soundwave Laboratory. My name is Martha and I'm a scientist. Come on in. So in this room, we like to test how people listen in more natural situations. Typically, when people are getting hearing aids fitted, they might do tests where they have to repeat back single words or sentences that don't really translate to how they listen in real life. You can imagine in real life, you're, you know, there's all these different sounds going on around you. There's multiple people talking. You're looking back and forth between them. You're processing what they're saying and you're trying to anticipate what they're going to say next. And all of these processes influence how well you hear. Sometimes they can help you, but sometimes they can also make it a bit harder for you. So in this laboratory, we do the experiments that help us understand those processes. We do this by presenting video recordings on this large TV screen here. And the reason it's so big is so that we can present people close to life size. So the participant who is listening to the experiment can see, can experience a more natural situation. We have an array of loudspeakers hidden behind this black screen so that we can present sounds in real spatial dimensions. And we have special eye tracking technology here so that we can actually watch where the participant is looking on the screen. The participant would be wearing glasses like this. And these glasses, as you can see, have these little markers on them. And the position of these markers is tracked by the cameras that are set up near the ceiling in this room. And you can actually see what we see when we look at uh, the data if you look over at the computer monitor here. So the participant is normally wearing these glasses and we can track their position of their head in the room. You can imagine if someone's listening to something challenging, they might lean forward a little bit in their chair. If there's something going on interesting on the right hand side of the screen, they might turn their head to look over there. And likewise, if something's going on on the left, so I have here an example of some stimuli that we used in a recent experiment. You can see that there's two actors on the screen and they are holding these white pieces of paper. And each of those pieces of paper actually has a drawing on it. And the actors are comparing their two drawings to see if they can find the differences between them. Next, I'm gonna show you a video clip of the conversation that they have while they're trying to do this and you need to listen to see if you can hear the difference. It's very challenging, it's in Danish. The video always starts with a fixation cross in the middle of the screen and the participant first has to look at that so we know where they're looking at the beginning of each trial and then the conversation comes on. See if you can find out what the difference is that the actors are discussing. Listen carefully. Sorry. Og i det andet vindue til venstre, der står tilbud pilleæsker. Den er helt tom med mig. Og der er åbnet ind til apoteket. The next example I'm going to show is with a little bit of background noise, so it's a little bit more challenging to hear what the actors are saying. Så prøver vi til smoothies. Ja, der står sådan en smoothies på et rødt. Ja. Og selve boksen. Det er for the last example, the noise is going to be quite loud, so prepare yourself, and you're going to see that it starts to be tricky to even pick out the actors' voices from the background, and this is where you start to really pay attention to what their lips are doing. If you want to see how important your lips are, try listening to that with your eyes closed. Now you have an idea of the kind of research we do here. Thank you for visiting the Soundwave Laboratory. Can we do it again? I thought... <laughs>